Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another awesome collection, classic toys, toys of the 1970s. Today we're going to look at a cool Hot Wheels set. Yes, Hot Wheels uh, related to the Sizzlers. This is the Great Freight set. Uh, if you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. Already done a video on the Super Chief. That was the one I first found. Now I've got a piece of the special track that they made. Coloration, black with silver. Hot Wheels. And I found the other cars. Uh, starting here at the end. That's the uh, souped up caboose. And that one's called a tail wagon. Then we've got the freight crate. Very cool. There's a moving door. And we got the rocket roller, or the or car. Uh, I've got a little moving feature on there. Let's bring this a little closer. Take a look here. As I said, these are uh, Hot Wheels brand, but it's more related to their sister's Hot Wheels, 1970. As you can see uh, here. Slide it plugs in. There's the bottom speed chief hot, hot line 1870. There's where the engine B. Very cool. It's got a little connector they can connect on here. Let's look at that track. Very neat looking. Same size and dimensions of the regular orange ish red track of uh, Hot Wheels. <clears throat> the rocket roller. That's a nice information on there, what it would be. Hotline 1970 Mattel Inc. And it Tilts to the side like that. Dump the ore. So you can put sand or rocks or little toys or whatever you'd have on there as a kid. Have fun. Clicks back into place. <clears throat> At the end here, I might try to connect, connect these. So you can see how they would pull it along. And then we've got the freight crate. Very cool colors. Nice stuff on the side. There it says freight crate. Oh, do they say that on here or not? I don't know, rock that it's the rocket roller. Yeah, there it is. Rock and roller. So they do name it. They just don't put it on the bottom. I'm going to say it again there. Turn this around. Hotline is a name printed by uh, molding right in there. And then this is very cool. Matches the coloring of this. And <clears throat> this set didn't come with it, but they had uh, passenger cars that you could buy separately. And they look just like this, the coloration, except it was a passenger car. Uh, that was a separate. You had to find those. Those are harder to find because they didn't come with the set. Let's look at the bottom here. 1970 Mattel Inc. Hotline. And look at that. They got a blue bottom. Does this one? This one's just like that. I don't know why they bother. Why do you see it a little bit there? That's why it's blue. Just a little bit there. And then inside, a little, little, little dust. So they got some little seats in there for folks and seats going along that way. So there's the windows. And there it is, tail wagon. 
So they got fun names for them. Let's see if I can a little click. They were always hard to click together. There we go. See, that one's clicked. Let's see if we can get this one. There we go. And then get that clicked. Clicked. So you know remember if you ever seen the scissors race cars, how they go around real fast. Well this one would have to only power this one, have enough strength to drag the cars. This is the basic set. Like I said, this one's called the Great Freight Set. So if you had uh, even more cars on there, and I believe there was another car besides the, the passenger car, and then they had some accessories. Maybe you'll find the box in a future video and more of the stuff to show everything. A lot of people don't know about this one. Some people don't even know about the Sizzlers. Uh, they were so cool, they'd run on the fat track, they'd call it back then. So, I can pull it along. You just imagine that one all charged up with the juice machine or the supercharger. And then <clears throat> racing around a big set that would have. And this wasn't an elaborate set like the the racetracks. It was more like a big squarish rounded off corner set and then it had a section where you could make it shorter where it would veer off so you could change it to a, a shorter more of a square instead of a rectangle uh, so that's very cool look at me so something different from hot wheels from way back when 1970 i'm filming this here in june of 2022 very neat set. As far as I know, this was never reissued in any type of form. So very uh, unique to its time. It's looking pretty good condition. Since this was a, a set to mainly go on the track, they probably, if you find them today, they'd probably be in good condition, maybe. Who knows what kids would do. But they wouldn't get as enough as much rough treatment as the Hot Wheels cars. And you see they're not, there's a little bit of metal in here in the construction of this one, but otherwise they're basically plastic, so they don't have uh, the paint to wear off. It's just the molded colors. Very nice, very cool. All right, until next time, more classic toys. Toys of the 60s, 70s. And then we have, uh, continuing on, Hot Wheels. I do some videos of the new carded items of today. All righty. Thank you.